What's up everybody, I'm the chest nerd and today we're gonna to be looking at a funny opening trap that I found in this medieval book called The Middle Game in Chess by Reuben Fine. A nice book from the 50s, uh, a fine book, if uh, one might say. Ha ha ha. Um, so yeah, I found this very nice uh, little uh, diagram. Sorry, it's upside down. But okay, if we look at the board, it would usually arise from uh, a Philidor defense. So how does this arise? E4, E5, Knight F3. And instead of typical Knight C6, uh, Black played D6 here. And after D4, putting pressure on uh, the E5 pawn, Black takes, Bishop C4, development, uh, Bishop E7, so trying to bring the knight on f6 out. Uh, now white finally takes the pawn. And this is where the trap begins. Black plays knight d7. Double question marks. What does Ruben Fine give uh, in this position? He gives bishop takes f7. Uh, actually, you guys knew this from the thumbnail, so let's just move on. Um, okay, so it's good to know. When you're attacking, it's good to look at the possible variations. So variation number number one here, king f8. What if he doesn't take the bishop? Knight e6 check, wins the queen, right? Hits on the queen right there. Okay. So now black has to take the bishop. Otherwise, the game is lost. Um, and so after king takes f7, white have a brilliant move here. Um, just like... Kind of rare this early in the game in chess. Um, knight e6. Woo! Yeah, I could I could feel the fire there. Um, just playing with it, right? Okay, so there's always the variation. What if white? What if black doesn't take on e6? And what if if he doesn't take the knight? Uh, queen has to go to e8 because the squares are taken. Um, if queen to e8, yes. Knight takes c7, just as I thought. And this forks beautifully the queen and the rook. Now, after queen f8 is forced, then uh, white to play and win, basically, right here, right now. Um, yeah, so it's queen d5 check. Uh, king f6, if you want. But this loses to a queen f5 checkmate. Um, and, th and the other, other thing is forced is king g6. Which, I mean, lasts for a little while because the queen on f5 this time protects the f5 square. And so after knight e6, not even taking the rook, uh, really just threatening the queen again. Uh, something like queen f6. Um, and then knight f4. And this forces, if the king goes to h5, queen h5 checkmate. So this forces black to take the knight. And after bishop takes, this is a winning game. So other variations here. Well, black could go back uh, 2d8, but this is uh, a mating net, actually. White to play and mate in eight moves. Okay, I assume you've given up because eight moves is a lot of moves to think about in advance. So let's just go with it. Queen d5 check. Uh, as we stated here, this is both are losing. Uh, real quick, king g6, queen f5 checkmate. The square is taken by the bishop. King f6, queen f5 checkmate. And now king f8, made in seven. Woo, getting closer. Knight e6 check. Woo! Forking the royal fork, king and queen. And after, um, okay, king e8, you can play this, but I think you have maiden four here. Uh, what was it? Knight takes g7 check. After king f8, knight e6. And now this pawn is not here anymore. So after king uh, e8, queen h5 checkmate. Very nice, very nice indeed. But okay, let's say he goes to f7 here instead of e8. Now we have knight g5, double check on that king. 
Woo! Okay. Okay. Uh, if king f5, we have the usual, the huge. And if king g6, queen f5 check. And now king h6, we have a double checkmate here going for the win. Uh, very nice on the king. Okay, so you're double checking me. What do I have here? Well, for starters, king e8, this is checkmate. King f8, this is checkmate. So you look lost. Well, no. What if I told you that black had an even crazier move here? King g6, and now after queen f5, oh, you missed it. Black can escape. And now it's a king chase. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Maiden four. Maiden four, maiden four. I need a maiden four. What squares aren't uh, taken up by white? These ones. Nor the king is in check, so it can't be checkmate yet. Okay. How about g4? Just to destabilize the king. King h6, we went over this. Checkmate, right? Because of the double check on the king. Okay. King h4. Knight f3. King h3. G5 looks good. King goes to G g2. No. Rook g1. You know what I'm saying? Keep this secret, okay? Don't tell it to all your friends because then it would ruin the party, you know? So let's go back to the OG, the OG move, knight e6. Instead of queen e8, having seen all that as black, um, how about just takes the knight? Hmm. Well, then if that happens, queen d5 check. Okay. And after king f6 is forced, queen f5 checkmate. This is called the epaulette's checkmate. Reverse epaulette's checkmate. No, epaulette's checkmate. Something like this. Very pretty checkmate. One of my faves. Personal. Okay. And how about king f6? Well, then you just win the queen. But yes, you have maiden 2 here, just in case uh, you're in for the fun. So white to play in maiden 2. This is the only time where you have to actually practice, exercise for this. Queen f3 check. King e5. Queen f5 checkmate. King takes e6, queen f5 checkmate. King g6, queen f5 checkmate. And they're all queen f5 checkmate. This never happens. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was kind of like a comedy bit. Uh, I hadn't really prepared anything. But yeah, a little trick in the Philidor defense. Why it's completely terrible. Don't play 97, folks.